had a fire. It was really scary and the farm did not burn down. But our place was spared. I didn't lose one chicken. And uh, it was because of our brave firefighters. The neighboring towns have been devastated. And I count myself very lucky. So, your farm wench is very blessed. And we're praying for those who lost everything. So this is how close the fire got to the main chicken house. Luckily, the firefighters um, took their helicopter water bags, dipped it into Mary's Pond, the neighboring um, farm, which also survived, um, and dumped it on the chicken coop. Um, put this fire out. This is what used to be um, the extra coop that I used to transition the babies. That's just gone now. And all of this goat pasture was in flames. Some trees there caught on fire and my daughter's uh, garden of perennials pretty much lost. Um, all the irrigation burned up. The door to the chicken, the chicken gate that goes out to the pasture, damaged but still intact. So, small bliss. All of the netting that was over the long run ignited and melted. And uh, I had opened the chicken gate into the pasture to try and get the chickens into the pasture before I left, but they were too afraid to leave. And um, they ended up over here by their favorite hedge. They were all huddled right there. And uh, when the fire melted off all the netting, they flew over this little fenced area into the green yard over there and were safe. So that was a blessing as well. This is the goat pasture that ignited. The fire started over across the road and then jumped the road um, and tore through this goat pasture right by our house. Our, our uh, fence was on fire, but the firemen put that out. And that structure over there used to be a little barn for the goats. Luckily, the goats had been moved long, long ago. But all of this burned all the way across and around our house. Not across, but, but around our house, surrounding it. And uh, my husband put out a big oak tree that was in flames. That, took, that was an overnight thing, so that the next pasture wouldn't become um, engulfed with flames as well. This is the Billings Ranch. My neighbor Mary and her family, um, their 150-year-old barn just beyond that hill and the old Victorian house built in the mid-1800s. Um, both survived. The fire came up to about a foot of their place. The fire marched along here, swept by 60 mile per hour winds, and uh, came up. We had minutes to pack up the dogs and leave, let the chickens out, turn the irrigation on. Fire swept over here. My husband stayed behind with two of the big dogs and went over in that field under the irrigation sprinkler, big old hose that was spitting water. And um, until the fire chief who came and he and his crew saved our house, um, he said that he could come back. So my husband came back and was putting out hot spots. My daughter's flower farm sign survived. So I took that down for putting up later, but all of this survived. That tree was up in flames. Um, and our neighbor's house down there burned. This one survived. So the fire went down that way all along the creek and took out basically the next two towns almost completely. Really, yeah, I'm sad. This is just part of how close the fire got. It destroyed my little transitional 
chicken coop melted away, ruined the fencing, burnt some of my daughter's flowers. But all of my girls came back and Billy took care of them all. You're a hero, Billy. Um, and this is how close it got. All of that field burned. All of the netting over the long run. But my babies are sound. Safe and sound. Again, I'm very blessed. It got really close.